cats have captivated mankind with their mystery and mysticism for thousands of years. Back in Egyptian times, they were worshipped, they were mummified, they were friends of pharaohs. In the Middle Ages, witches were thought to inhabit the bodies of cats, so cats were persecuted. And the cats were feared. And today, they're one of the most popular pets in the world. They're now outnumbering dogs as the number one pet. But what is it about the cat that fascinates humans? We really don't fully understand cats. Cat behavior is so mystical that in many senses it's beyond us. And when you have a creature as mystical as a cat, there are lots of myths. One myth that has endured for centuries is the nine lives myth. Nine and cats are entwined in a kind of esoteric wisdom that goes way back in time. It was thought that in Europe, witches had eight lives, but their last incarnation would be to enter the body of a cat and stay there permanently. Another explanation for the nine lives comes from this uh, you know, Egyptian deity, sun god, Atam Ra. Atam Ra would occasionally uh, transform into a cat and go down to visit the underworld. And he embodied nine gods in one. How the nine lives myth began is anyone's guess, but a cat's uncanny ability to dodge death and survive is remarkable. Cats simply are able to go extended periods of time without eating and even without drinking. They move stealthily and quietly. Um, they can squeeze through very narrow spaces. That ability to get into tight spaces helps them avoid danger, and it's a special trait unique to cats. A cat's shoulder bones are attached to the body by muscle only, allowing movement in almost every direction. And unlike humans, a cat's collarbone or clavicle is not connected to other bones. It actually floats in the muscles of the shoulder region, allowing them to fit through openings the size of their head. They can survive things that other animals cannot. Like this cat who was mysteriously found shot through the chest and abdomen with an arrow. I don't know how it didn't puncture a lung or skewer her heart or a major blood vessel. Or this cat that was set on fire by an abusive owner. We actually had a plan in place that if he woke up and he appeared to be suffering, we would just euthanize him and end his suffering right there. But he woke up and started grooming and said, hey, where's, where's the food? This cat lived after falling 48 feet to the ground, over 50 times her height. She did fall all the way from up there, all the way down here, four floors. Cats have an area in their brain that creates what's called a self-writing reflex. They fall, this writing reflex causes them to flip over and be on all four by the time they hit the ground. This cat, Birdie, has survived twice. She lived after being hit by a car. Her injuries were pretty severe. I think it truly was a miracle that she made it. Then she survived a fall from four stories. Given her injuries, she could have died. Birdie is above and beyond what we would consider a survivor. So do cats have amazing survival skills or nine lives? Check out this story and decide for yourself. Michael Rocher lived in Munson, Massachusetts with his daughter and seven beloved cats, Rocky, Cosette, Cujetta, Frankie, Samson, Plumley, and Felix. And on June 1st, 2011, Michael's life as he knew it changed forever. I was uh, home in my upstairs office when uh, I got a text message on my phone that there was a um, tornado watch. Uh, seemed a little odd, of course, that we'd have tornadoes in Massachusetts. But then all of a sudden, we got hail. And you could hear what sounded like stones hitting the roof of the house. The trees were coming apart. The, the fence had come apart. There was a tornado in the backyard. I yelled to my daughter, tornado basement now. My daughter screamed, the cats are upstairs. The cats are upstairs. We've got to get them. But there was no time. Michael and his daughter barely made it to the basement before the twister slammed into their three-story house. You could hear the house starting to come apart. Um, something hit me in the back of the head and knocked me to the ground. It's obvious to me at that moment that we're dead. 
The entire house basically imploded, lifted off the foundation, and crashed behind us. Michael, his daughter, and the cats were inside the house when the tornado struck. They were my best friends. It was clear to me from the amount of damage that not only was our house gone, that there was no way in the world that these cats could be alive. But Michael's daughter was determined to find them. She didn't believe that the cats were dead and was going to dig. Michael and his daughter quickly assembled a search and rescue team to find the cats. He said, here's the plan. We just love our cats. We want our cats, and we don't care about anything else. 50, 75 people, and they were there for over, over a week digging every single day. We basically had moved the entire house looking for these cats. All the volunteers took everything out piece by piece to make sure that we could open up as many safe passages for the cats as we could. And within hours, Michael got some news. I get a text message saying they found Felix. But it didn't say if he was alive or not. Anyway, so I ran to the house. He's alive. Not only is he alive, he's uninjured. There was a cat looking me straight in the eyes. I immediately got Kelly down there. We put him into the cat carrier, and then everybody cheered. Oh, my god. <laughs> a few hours later, they had found another one, alive in the rubble, Plumley. And slowly, one by one, in the days and nights ahead, every single one of Michael's cats was found alive. Uh, how 7 for 7 can come out of a house that was leveled to the ground uh, is still something I have a hard time putting my uh, mind on. It was a miracle. The cats probably knew the tornado was coming, so when the house started to roll, uh, they were looking for corners and cracks and must have had just enough time to find that spot that kept them from getting hurt. They have a unique skill uh, of survival, and uh, they proved it here.